coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Everett Lau. Good Sunday morning. Here's a look at what I'm tracking as we finish up the weekend. Going to be a cooler day today. Still breezy though. Still a few lingering clouds out there as well, but we're getting some sunshine right now in downtown Terre Haute. But more chances of rain are in the forecast, but the good news, not going to be today, not going to be tomorrow, but by the time we get later on into the week, we will have rain in the forecast. If there are any mushroom hunters still out there, today's going to be a nice day to head to the woods. Temperatures climbing into the upper 50s by 10 a.m., making it into the lower 60s by the time we get to the afternoon. And eventually we'll see our daytime highs in the upper 60s. Then we'll still have some of that cloud cover drifting through. And then you can see the wind out of the west-southwest anywhere from 10 to 15 miles per hour, maybe as high as 20 miles per hour. And some of those gusts could make it as high as 30 miles per hour as we get later on this afternoon. So still breezy as we finish up the weekend. As we look at temperatures right now, pretty mild start to the day above average for this time of year. 55 in Terre Haute, 55 also in Effingham and Newton. It's 54 in Paris, 58 in Washington and Linton, and currently 56 in Brazil. The wind not too strong just now, but it's starting to pick up a little bit. 10 miles per hour in Paris and in Vincennes, along with Washington. 12 mile per hour breeze in Robinson and a 13 mile per hour wind right now in Florida. Again, coming up out of the west southwest and it will continue to pick up now that the sun is up. As you look at the Storm Team 10 storm tracker, the rain showers we had last night, they're long gone. You can see some cloud cover still lingering across the northern parts of Illinois and Indiana. And eventually I think we could see some of that drift down closer to the I-70 corridor. So that's going to give us some increased cloud cover as we get into the afternoon. But as for this morning, still getting some sunshine across most of the Wabash Valley and no precipitation being detected on the Storm Team 10 storm tracker. Now the storm track will be quiet today and will be quiet tomorrow. By the time we get to Tuesday though, Pretty good chance of showers and some thunderstorms once again. We'll catch a little bit of a break by the time we get to Wednesday, but then Thursday and Friday, rain's going to be back in the forecast. So not the greatest news for the farmers still trying to get out there in the fields and get the crops in. But we do have a few dry days if they can take advantage of those while they last. Now as you look at the pollen forecast, if you're an allergy sufferer, unfortunately, nice weather means the allergies or the pollen's going to be worse. So medium high category today, and then it'll be higher tomorrow thanks to all the sunshine. Tuesday it'll drop down though with that rain in the forecast. Then it'll start to climb again on Wednesday when we get a break from the precipitation. Right now, trees are the main culprit, but also the grasses are starting to pollinate. So that's heads up for all you allergy sufferers. The nice spring weather comes with a price for those of you. Now, as we look at the future cast for the rest of the day, you can see the sunshine out there, but we're going to remain breezy. Other than that, you'll see the cloud cover drifting in as we head towards the afternoon. Again, primarily along north of Interstate 70. That's not to say the cloud cover won't make it farther to the south, especially as we get later on into the afternoon. But staying dry precipitation wise, as we head into the overnight hours, the wind's going to start to ease up, so not as breezy tonight. You can see we stay clear through the overnight hours. It'll be cooler. We'll drop down into the 40s. As we get into Monday, expecting a lot of sunshine to start the day. Tomorrow I think is going to be the pick of the week with mild temperatures, plenty of sunshine, but clouds are going to start to increase as we get into the afternoon. Still a great deal of sunshine though. It's not until we get to the evening that we really start to see that cloud cover pick up and then eventually the rain showers will start to build in as we go into overnight Monday into the first part of Tuesday, especially here's seven o'clock Tuesday morning. And that's when showers and thunderstorms will be making a comeback. Before today, 67 degrees, nice and dry, a cooler day, but more seasonable for this time of year. 70 degrees is where we should be. Wind gusts as high as 30 miles per hour. The wind eases up tonight under a mostly clear sky will drop down to 46 degrees. Then for tomorrow, again, pick of the week, mostly sunny, pleasant spring day with a high of 72 degrees. As you look at the next seven days, again, the showers and storms for the Indiana primary, a dry day on Wednesday, then more showers and thunderstorms Thursday and cooler to finish up the week.